hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is a very quick and easy tutorial on how i made this dress looking from a zero to a ten i just i'm just going to show you guys how i embellished this dress so if this is what you want to see please keep on watching So right now this is my dress this is 80 percent ready so i'm still going to trim the armhole side i'm still going to trim it very well because here it's not looking well and this is a corset dress actually with a turtleneck so i'm just going to be adding a little bit of color to this just a little bit of color I'm going to be adding silver and gold to this so this is what i got from the market this is actually not that costly so i'm going to be adding a flay at the side of this dress that's one shoulder of this dress i'm going to be adding a flay to it and i'm trying to pin it you can see how i'm struggling with my dummy because it's a plastic dummy it's going to be more easier on a pinable mannequin but this is a plastic one so i'm just placing the flay from the front to the back that is how the style I was given is so I'm just going to I'm just replicating it and here yeah, look at it so I'm going to just pin it down with my pin arrange it so that it's going to give it's going to pop out a little bit that's I'm planting it just plant it a little bit so that it's going to pop out so right now the next thing we're going to do is just to place this fancy stuff on it so i'm going to be pinning it to give me the shape i want you can pin it anyhow you want it it mustn't be exactly what i'm using you can use what you have use what you have to create yours just go for anything available to create yours so i'm just pinning it to give me a shape I'm just pinning to give me any shape i don't have any shape in mind i'm just pinning when it's okay for me i'll leave it like that so just watch and enjoy what i'm doing So right now i'm going to be using my needle and thread to tack this flay at the shoulder because i'm thinking if i remove it from this mannequin the pin the pin may fall off so i just used my needle and thread to tack it i'm still going to sew it on my sewing machine i'm still going to sew it on my sewing machine but you can use your needle and thread and just tack it very well it's not going to come out or anything so I made use of my needle and thread. So I'm actually true with tacking the flay with my needle and thread. And here am I also trying to rearrange the stuff at one of the bust side. I told you I don't have any shape in mind. So I'm just doing a random thing until it gives me what I want. So the next thing I'm going to be introducing is a nylon bag. So this is just a nylon bag. I'm going to be placing it under, underneath my net because I'm going to be using a, a hot candle for this and I don't want it to stain the mannequin and to tear my net. So that's why I placed the nylon bag underneath the net. So I'm just using my candle gog to just gum this fancy stuff on one of the bra cup and at the shoulder side so make sure you apply the candle gob much on it so that it's going to stay well because i'm not going to be tacking this after gumming with my candle gum I'm not, I'm not going to be tacking it with my needle or thread 
so i made sure that the candle gum is much on it so that it's going to lap well and at least last a, a while before it starts coming out So this, I just place this stuff on the flay to just cover up my stitches. I don't want my stitches to show at all. That's why I use that to just cover the stitches up. And I'm using my candle gun to just gum it down. But I won't let it get to the back because I want to use that stuff on my turtleneck on the shoulder line so i didn't allow it to get to the back of the flay so i just cut it and i'm using it to i'm just using it around the shoulder the turtle neck i'm sorry i'm using it to just round the turtle neck So I'm just going to be using this golden stuff also and I'll be placing it on the channel I inserted my bone in. I'll be placing it on the channel. That's why I told you that this dress is going to be very colorful using a silver and a gold on a dress. So I just placed it on the channel I made. I'm placing all of them. Initially I wanted to place it twice on it. But I was thinking that oh, too much of everything is bad. Look at it. I just removed one of it and I said, let me just be placing one line on each of the channels. So I was thinking instead of just leaving the dress like that, the way you saw it initially or at the beginning of this video, I'm just saying this may be better i don't know just drop your comment and tell me if this is actually fine if it's not okay please oh let me just remove everything <laughs> let me remove everything now this is the finished look i think it's okay so i'm going to move this on my mannequin and just trim the armhole so that it's going to fit on the owner of the dress thank you so much for watching please leave a comment on the comment section 